Hello everybody, welcome back to my Euro Goalkeeper Challenge and today the most voted for team was Albania in Group B and if you want to see your team, remember to leave a comment down below which country I should play as next. Looking at the team though of Albania, no one really stands out a lot of 70 rated, obviously Broja there, but the goalkeeper Thomas Strakosia, only 74 rated, so probably the lowest rated goalkeeper we've used so far. Let's find out if it's any good. Mamma mia! But before we get into this first match, remember to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, and turn the on so you do not miss a thing. Let's get into it. First match is against Italy, and they get the first opportunity seven minutes in, just outside the box. Takes a shot, deflected out to the edge box again, turns a long ranger, and just over the crossbar, nearly snuck it in. I think Thomas there had it covered. Left footed strike, just too much power over the bar. Definitely had it covered with that left hand there. Would have been a decent little save, but didn't get on target anyway. Again, they're 25 minutes in. They try to bundle their way through our defenders there. The ball trickling through. It gets it again. Another tackle. And eventually, we do manage to clear our lines. Finally, just for half time, we get an opportunity inside the penalty box. Takes a shot. Looks like it was flying into that far corner, but it was blocked. And we pick up the ball again, playing around the edge of the box. And eventually, the referee has had enough and blows the whistle when we're on an attack. A little bit sour about that one. We could have quite easily lined up a shot there, but we didn't shoot in the end. And we haven't even got a shot on target. Into second half we go, still nil nil. Italy have done not a lot, but we haven't done a lot either. But in the second half, we actually break through a defensive line, tries to cross, and what is he doing? <laughs> Had a good counter attack going there, but ruined it. Now Italy on their first attack in the second half. Takes a shot and again, wayward. Not even on target. Shoot has been atrocious today. Couldn't even hit a barn door. Finding enough opportunity. We have the ball though. Dilly Daddy in defence. Like actually snatched off us. No one on one of me. What can he do? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah, boy. I took a huge risk. Going to that side near post. And he read him like a book. Thank you very much. Great save to keep us all level with Italy. That's enough for us to get a point. Who would have thought it? To be fair, Italy haven't been the best in real life, but... You can see apparently no saves, which makes no sense. And Donovan with no saves either. Shooting was atrocious. Spain at the top of the group. We are currently sitting second or third. I forgot it already. But now we go against Croatia, who are at the very bottom. If we win this one, I think we're guaranteed to get through. So hopefully we can do that. We get the kickoff, but Croatia get the first opportunity in just before a 10 minute mark. They take a shot at another decent little save. He had plenty of time. Tried to finesse it. I read him again. Covering that near post. Slap it out for a corner. 25th minute. Croatia back on another attack. He finds a through ball. Defender actually gets a tackle in. I make myself wide. Another block and another clearance. Put our bodies on the line. Again, only seven minutes before the half time whistle. Croatia back in our paintball. Lays it off. Takes a shot. That's another ridiculous save. This could be the best goalkeeper I've ever used. He's making save after save but it's outrageous ones at that literally a time and space and look at the strong wrist action there no problem about that at all out for a corner from the corner they play it short though into the paint box again takes a shot oh my gosh! Nah, someone needs to drug test this goalkeeper. It's an outrageous save. Literally, three defenders in the way. Gets down low, pushes his hand through the floor to make the save. And it's just outrageous. And somehow we're still level going into the halftime interval. Croatia are going to be very upset they haven't scored. But this goalkeeper literally put him on a pedestal. He's outrageous and so, so good at his job. On to the 60th minute mark now. And Croatia back where they've been the whole game. Outside the edge of the box, playing it around. Trying to move my defenders. Actually, do take the shot. I'm going to break my monitor, I swear. And this is what does my absolute head in. I moved the right way and the animation screws me. Literally the worst shot that has been in this whole match and it goes in. Makes zero sense, should be saving it and it's nothing to do with me. The game's like, nah, you're not saving that one. Literally, what's with the little T-Rex arms? No need for it. Move across, just put your hand up, make the save. No, they hate me. EA hate my guts. And now Croatia build a bit of confidence after that goal into the paint box ball roll for no reason. But outside the edge of the box, one more time takes a shot straight at me. I make a little bit of a meal of it, but do gather it in the end. And they're still building this pressure. They've been all over us this whole match into the paint box again. Now just pass it around. I can't to close down the angle. Not good enough. And he slots it away, making it 2-0. That is the second of the day. I think that's Kramerich there. And... That's the reason I don't hold Y that often to close down because you have no control of the animation at all. The dive was way too early or the charge was way too early. I should have stood my ground, had a better chance and he hits it into an open net. This game is pretty much over now unless we can sneak two goals in the last five minutes but Croatia looks like they're trying to get a third here. Lovely through ball, tried to pass my defensive line towards that byline now. Got time to say, takes a shot off the woodwork, bounces off my fire as well but it does go out for a corner. Didn't really do much, I stood my ground off the post, onto the fire and out for that corner. And now we have three minutes left and we actually got a counter-attack here. Brozier showing some pace, getting past their defence by charging and running and running into the paper for the goalkeeper and actually halves the deficit, getting a goal back here. And that could be very crucial if we want to get out of this group. 
who high fives the invisible man there, apparently Kevin Bacon's about, but into the party box, look at the composure of the young man, hits it hard, keeper no chance, hasn't done nothing the whole game, couldn't keep his concentration to make that save, but sadly it's not enough, we lose the match 2-1, and to be fair it should have been a draw, I'd have taken a draw there, that first goal was so disappointing, you see 4 saves from 6 shots against, their goalkeeper made no saves at all, and now we're at the very bottom of the group, Joint on one point with Italy, but if we do win against Spain here, we get four points and it should be enough to push us into the round of 16. Let's find out what we can do. They get the kickoff, but we actually get the first opportunity here just outside the box. We run and run and run, gets past the line, cuts it back now, lays it off to a man in the middle, plenty of space, and he finds the back of the net, putting us into the lead early on in this match. It's exactly what we need. We're doing well defensively, kind of, but the goal is where we've been struggling. It's so good in the end, charging, defenders run back and leave that space in the box, hits it well, keeper can't get his hands up quicker, I think it's Simone who can't do nothing about this goal, into the back of the net, who would have thought it, we're actually beating Spain, 32 minutes Spain get the first opportunity, in our penalty box, holds up the player a little bit, finds the man, takes a shot at an awkward angle, defender was in the way, but a good strong hand by Thomas, keeping us in the lead, but Spain now, Morata on the ball, what a finish that is by the way, no chance that any goalkeeper in the world, in history, was making that save, it's an outrageous finish, you have to give it to him, holds off defender, shows a bit of strength, turns him, left foot, you could argue, technically, I think it's Williams blocks division, could be offside, but no, it's a great finish, levels the game up, so disappointing, and now half time is here, and now all tied up, 1-1, one, one. we've had one shot on target, they've had one, no, two shots on target, can we hold on for a draw? I don't think a draw is going to be enough. We need to go for the win, but Spain have other ideas. They're just outside our box now, left side of the pitch, playing it around. Quite nice, quick passes. Williams, one on one of me, tries to develop it. No chance, sunshine. You're not getting past that cheeky little finish. Cover that near post beautifully. React well, good strong fingertips, keeping that ball out. But still, they're trying to get this win outside the right side now. Got two men over, two men marking as well. Manages to find the ball into Pedri, one on one of me. What can he do? Nothing again. This goalkeeper is way too good, keeping the game level cover that near post brilliantly to be fair if he goes across it's an easy goal but I had to predict make the save keeping it out can you believe we're still in this match to try it from the corner now into Morata little header down it's another ridiculous save Morata with the header couldn't make up my left hand right hand chose the left in the end keeping that ball out and they're still pressuring us to get a goal outside the edge of the box line lines up a strike no trouble at all and now last minute of the game goalkeepers in the box playing around passing one two three back across to the goalkeeper no to get a tackle in and that's all she wrote referee blows the whistle now it's the long wait to see if Italy lost to see if we can make it into the third place position looking at the game though four saves from five that goal from Morata was ridiculous by the way Simon made none no saves at all for him terrible goalkeeper but no, we finished bottom two points, five for Italy, four for Croatia and four for Spain. But looking at the clean sheets, you can see we did get one in three. Pick for that at the top, two in three, along with my Nyan, two in three. Moving on to the assists, so you can see Gundogan, three and two for Germany. Ilicic from Slovenia, two and two. Luke Bacchio from Belgium, two and three. And we had Lassie from Albania, two and three, along with Liao and Sut and Veerman up there as well, but moving on to top goal score, Fulkrig from Germany, 4-3, Kramaric from Croatia, 3-3, three three. two of them were against us, and Bappi up there as well, Ronaldo, a few English players, Rice and Foden, but we had no one up there, and that's the reason we did not make it into the round of 16, but that's going to be it for today's episode, hope you enjoyed it, if you did, don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, and turn the on so you don't miss a thing, also leave down in the comments below which country I should play as next, and as always, look after yourself, stay safe, and I'll speak to you next time, goodbye.